Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Got a special one for you today. We have Jeff from JU Fab Works. He's local to where we're at right now. What are you, about an hour drive or less? Not isn't even. It? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And Jeff is the owner and founder of JU Fab Works, making beautiful bucket brackets, all sorts of stuff, made in America, made here in Michigan, actually, but shipping nationwide. Nationwide. There we and go. Canada. Did you say Canada? Canada. He ships to Canada, folks. That's something that even I don't do, all right? So can I ship through you? Maybe I can work with you. We can, sh <laughs> Maybe we can ship stuff up there, huh? <laughs> Jeff and I have been wanting to get together for some time. And in fact, he sent me this quite some time ago, but I thought, let's have you over and do an install, make a video out of it. He's built out quite a lineup. Pretty impressive. Check out his website too. Now he is a discount club partner. So you use code GWT to save 5% off of your order at jufabworks.com. All right, so this just looks, I just like this. This just looks good. Looks like we're at the farm show. I told him you should go to the farm show, but uh, it's pretty cool stuff now. What we first installed a long time ago, was that two or three years ago now? Two years ago. Yeah, it was uh, the bucket brackets for the John Deere buckets. And, you know, really I like things that are versatile and these are versatile in more than one way. They're versatile because of the different um, fitments that are welded on here, but they also solve a problem specifically with the John Deere buckets that are prone to bending, you know, and they're, they're weak. They do have heavy duty buckets, which are built very robust, but the standard bucket that comes out is a, is a little bit flimsy. So anyway, they're versatile in that regard too. They protect that from happening. So Jeff, why don't you show us uh, kind of what your most popular products are, what you, what you have going on. You have different colors here. Obviously we know green and orange, but there's some black in there. Sure. And this one caught my eye too. Let's start with this. What is what is this all about? I haven't seen this before. Yeah, sure. We just came out with this a few months ago. Um, we're calling it the Work Boss. Um, basically, it, it features two chain grab hooks, uh, two inch receiver, and you got yourself some some tie down points here. Oh, I didn't even see those. Down um, but yeah, basically, what this is for. This is for your your John Deere 1025R and your 2017 plus 2025R. So now the 1023 too, I think then, the right? 1023 also. Okay. Yep. yep. That's slick. So this will fit on even if you have the loader installed. Yes, it will. Okay. So it fits right in the front frame of the tractor. Yep. So if you don't have your loader on, and we just did, this would have been great to have. I didn't realize it, but we just did a, a trailer mover video a little while back. We had the loader mounted bucket bracket here that you can put a receiver in, but this goes right on the front frame of the tractor. So if you take your loader off, you still have an option up front. Again, more versatility built into with those tie down points and the chain hooks. Sure. That's pretty slick. Yeah. All right. So I see a lot of different, a lot of different things, right? You got to have some most popular variations. So what, you know, between, you know, the, the D rings, the chain hooks, all that kind of thing. And, and the grab handles too, what, what's your most popular configuration? What do, what do folks Order. I would say people are leaning more towards the the welded on solid handle okay. versus the D-ring. Okay. Um, they're both equally as strong, um, but it just seems like, you know, if you're operating over bumpy ground or whatever, you will hear a little the rattling and but, all that. Yeah. You know, tractors are naturally noisy anyway, so yeah. you're not going to yeah. really notice that much. But uh, yeah, I would say the handles have been our best sellers. Okay. Well, and I think you mentioned you're not even offering the D-rings right now on the Kubota. Not one. on the Kubota one. Yeah. So I, I, that, that kind of paints the picture. I, most folks probably go with this one. And I think that's, no, we put, actually, we put the D-rings on, on the 1025, if I remember right. But uh, yep, I can see either way. But I, I have heard these rattling. Not that it's a huge deal. But I also think, you know, if it's rattling, maybe it's wearing the paint away. And if you're being real picky right. about that kind of thing, too. Right. But uh, now you can also add on these small guys. These are kind of like for the left and the right. Right, that's for the, the very far outside edges of the bucket. Um, you have a lot of strength on the outside edges. We also offer these and uh, instead of the D-ring, you're gonna have the, the handle here. Okay. So, Yep. yeah. Yeah, good tie down points if you're trailering it and everything else too, which is really nice to have. All right, so a couple things I'm noticing you can see the different angles on all of these, all right? And this additional angle here, I would have to think, gives it strength as well. Um, yes. But you're you're tailoring these things specific for various buckets that are out there, right? That's right. Yeah, basically all the different angles that you're seeing on all these, it's gonna match the contour of your bucket perfectly. Um, it's gonna be an exact fit. 
Yeah, so you're looking at like this John Deere angle here, there's, it's different than this one. This is for a global style bucket, like on a utility tractor, right? Right, exactly. Um, and then all the compact buckets are generally like this. Do these work on the heavy duty buckets as well that John Deere They offers? do work on the heavy duty buckets. Okay. Um, you just need to um, use the longer bolts. So, okay, okay, yeah, good to know. Work. All right, so if somebody does have, you know, one of the many, many variations out there that's not John Deere Kubota, what do they have to know? What are the, what's the critical dimension to know if, if this bracket here or this bracket is going to work for them? Well, on our current universal uh, workmaster plate, uh, this measures four and three eighths deep. Okay. So you want to measure your bucket and make sure you have enough room to, to mount this plate. Um, on the taskmaster plates, uh, you only need two and a half inches. So um, so are, a real, along the top rail, right? Around, along the top rail. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. And we are coming out with a, a newer version of this where it's gonna be very, very narrow, just like this. So basically a lot of the Coyote buckets, TYM, Branson, uh, even like the, the new Bad Boy. Or, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna work, work well. Awesome, with those. well that's good, good to know. All right, so then I see all these tie down points that we have here as well, they're all, they're all orange, I don't see any green tie down points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I haven't got I haven't got that far yet. You're building out that section. Yeah, John Deere is a little bit more difficult. There's not a a lot of factory holes to, oh, to mount yeah. to in the frame. Sure. Um, so so yeah, with the tie down points, basically we got the BX series pretty much covered. Oh, okay, good. Um, these are for your uh, your your BX series, the front. Okay. And these are for the rear over here. And they're going to come with all the, the hardware that you need to install them, uh, no drilling. Uh, and he, these are for the L-Series, standard L-Series Kubota for the rear. Um, nothing yet for the front. And these are for your, your B and LX series for the rear. And these will also work for the B and LX series for the front. So you're looking at a used Kubota bucket, and we're gonna do the same thing on uh, the Kubota M4 that I have as well. And it may be a little hard to see, but this edge, this top edge all along here is actually bent up a bit, and you can clearly see the side edges are bent up. So, you know, it's not just a, a John Deere bucket problem that's out there. I mean, there's, there's, you know, weak flaws, I guess, in every bucket. And so if you can brace up and kind of beef up the top rail here with uh, one of JU Fab's brackets, and then also, protect it, you know, extend the longevity of the bucket too. I mean, it's a, it's a two for one. I think it's a no brainer. We're gonna go ahead and install this now. And in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this out there because I thought it might be a good idea for, uh, for Jeff. But what do you guys think about getting some strips here, maybe as a, in a kit to reinforce the side plates here? You can see how wonky these get. The John Deere buckets do it too. It's just, you know, a standard bucket's just a, a flimsy piece of steel there. And so this kind of damage can easily happen and getting some reinforcement on there installed with a few um, drill holes and then bolts on there would be, I don't know, I think a pretty, a pretty handy way to strengthen and stiffen the side walls of your bucket. Anyway, now it's time to get to the install. Now, when we first met, you were actually doing this part-time. This was just kind of a side gig that you were trying to right. get off the ground, so to speak. Correct. You had a full-time job. I did. Yeah, but I, not anymore? Not anymore. I used to do landscaping. I did that uh, for 20 years, but this is uh, really where my passion is now. So. It's full time now. Wow, and how's that going? Going well. <laughs> I mean, you gotta stay on top of that constantly, and it, it, I'm not saying it's easy, but yeah. uh, it's going well. You start to develop a lot of different skills, you know, as, yeah, as a business right. owner. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you're kind of wearing every hat. So now you're doing this one-man show? One-man show, um, pretty much. Uh, we have a place um, that makes these for us, because I we used to make them um, right at our shop and we just ran out of space oh. and we just didn't have the, you know, the manpower to do it anymore. So, so yeah. Um, well, that's good. So, I mean, you got to the point where you, you had to, you, basically you could have hired or built or whatever else, but you just outsource some of those yeah, parts of the and processes it's great. instead. It, it's great because it's the people, family owned business. Um, we actually went to school together back when we were oh, kids. Cool. We, my wife actually knows, have known them for a long time. So, um, and they're very close to us, only 10 minutes away. Oh, wow. Um, right in Benton Harbor, Michigan, everything's, everything's made, so. There we have it, folks. That was, I almost broke a sweat, I'm gonna tell you. I mean, I <laughs> thought about taking my sweatshirt off, but I, I didn't, but we had five holes that were drilled, right? We had three along the front rail and then uh, two in the back on these support plates. And um, I mean, you, you put these on here because there's really no other way to get 
the rigidity that you right. need out of it, right? right. The, the top rail is so skinny. Right. Now there's a different version for the BX that has a pin bucket versus right. the quick attach, right? Correct. Okay, and that's all spelled out on your website? That that's right. Okay. Yep. All right. So just be aware of that. If you if you go to the website and you're just looking for BX, for example, there's gonna be two variations, one for the quick attach bucket and then one for the pin bucket. Okay. And so for those of you that don't know what the quick attach is, it's the two levers that you pull and release to get your bucket separate from the, the loader. If you don't have that, it's a pin bucket, all right? So that'll be the, the distinction there. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Well, take us through that process then. So from concept of when you want to come out with a product to when it's actually for sale to the customer. How, how does that look? Yeah, uh, basically, as far as coming out with new products, we, we just kind of listen to what uh, people are saying, okay. you know, what they're asking for yep. um, in our emails or even if I'm online looking through the forums and you kind of just listen to what people want, what the demand's for. And sure. Um, if I feel like it's a, a you know good enough idea then I'll put something together and prototype it and, you know, obviously start with small quantities first mm. and, you know, see if it starts moving. And then, yeah, we just kind of go from there. Okay. Yeah. And it's tough, right? Because there's so many different tractor models and a lot of these products right. are model specific. Well, yeah, that's just it. And, you know, like obviously John Deere and Kubota, I, we can all kind of agree they're the top, top two. And then, yeah. uh, you know, after that, you've got five to 10 of them that are all, you know, kind of right there. Mm -hmm. so, so we just have to do what makes sense, basically. Uh, we can't really spend all the time designing a product where we're only gonna sell five or 10 a year. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. still putting the same amount of engineering and design effort exactly. into it, you know, the right. same investment, and then you need to have that reward right. equate. Exactly. So yeah, that makes total sense. Folks, we just moved outside. We're gonna put one of these on the Kubota M4 series now. Okay, and you can see this is a bit of a, a bigger, beefier bucket, but when we take this off, there's actually still a little wrinkle in this top rail. So this extra reinforcement here is gonna do the job of reinforcing, but also adding versatility out here too. Only five volts, again, same as the BX. So same job, I think it's actually gonna be a little bit easier. It just seems a little bit more accessible as far as room to work in. So in fact, we're gonna take this bucket off this time around and see how that goes. All right, so shipping, you know, obviously internet's changed everything. So right. you're shipping all over the US into Canada. Yep. Is, is shipping included? Is it extra or how does that work with you guys? Uh, shipping is extra, okay. um, you know, just on average, you know, like I said, I'm in Michigan, um, if you're in, a a state that's relatively close to us, uh, you're probably looking at around twenty dollars to ship. We ship UPS ground and USPS. Okay. Um, but if you're in a worst case scenario in the United States, it's probably like Washington, oh, yeah. or California. Yep. You're probably looking at thirty. It's not a big difference. Yep. Thirty dollars for something like that. Yeah, that's um, not too bad. Canada, on the other hand, it it's expensive and yep. it's frustrating for us too. Uh, nothing we can really do about it. But yeah. Canadian, you're around $100 to get something okay. like that shit. Okay. So. Well, now going along with that, I mean, these aren't just a, a lightweight little accessory. I mean, these have some heft to them. What, yeah. Well, I mean, what's a, what's a like the Kubota one that we're putting on, what's that weight, do you know? This weighs 22 pounds. Yeah, well, it ships weight. at 22 pounds, so okay. it's very close to 22 pounds. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. they're they're hefty. Well, you, I mean, you can do some curls with this thing, get a little workout in if you wanted to. Yep. What uh, What's the thickness on the steel? Quarter inch. Okay. Now, as far as lead times go, is most of your stuff made to order? Is it like, a, you know, you put in an order and you get it shipped out in four to six weeks? Or is it in stock? Or what yeah, do you, what most you try of to do? our items are in stock. Um, we do have a few that are out of stock right now. Okay. Um, but if they are out of stock, you're basically worst case scenario, four to six weeks before it comes back into stock. Okay. Folks, so we just, sorry. Jeff just got done installing this on the big Kubota M4. I appreciate you coming over, Jeff. No problem. It was a really tough day for me. So, but I think what you got to see is no matter what size bucket you have, 
small like the BX, big like the M4, anywhere in between, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for John Deere, for Kubota, and again, universal products too. He's got a solution for you. You know, and Jeff's been here two and a half hours or so. From the time he showed up, we got everything set up, talked about what we were gonna do, got things moved around, everything else. We got both these installed and then did everything else that you're seeing. So it's an easy install to do, simple tools that you're probably gonna have on hand already. Maybe get yourself a new drill bit because that makes life easier. Right, sure does. And that's really about it. Just to reiterate, you are including all the hardware too. So that's right. when you buy it, it comes with all the hardware. Yep. You'll get all the hardware okay, you know, yeah. that you're going to need for that. Nothing else is required then. So pretty simple and straightforward there. Okay, that's going to do it for us. But I mean, is there anything else helpful to tell the folks that are watching? Uh, yeah, we get a lot of questions. Uh, you know, people ask, you know, the receivers, you know, a good distance off the ground. Um, what's going to make it easier to, to move your trailers around? Well, this, is a, this is a very large bucket on the M4, and this is a 12-inch uh, drop. So it's going to bring your, it's going to bring your ball down to a very uh, reasonable height to hook up your trailers. Another question we get is, uh, you know, what do you prefer, the, the handles or the D-rings? And, um, you know, it's really just personal preference, really. Uh, the D-rings are gonna make a little bit of noise and, you know, move around a little bit when you're doing loader work. Uh, these are always gonna be solid and... And, and do know, the same thing. Pretty much. Right? Yeah. It sounds like the market's just kind of telling you the customer feedback based on what people are ordering. Right. More folks are going with, with these grab handle type things versus the D-ring. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You know what? Well, I do want to thank you very much for coming over. Appreciate making the drive. Yeah. Bringing over all the equipment, yep. doing the install, all the dirty work. No problem. My pleasure. It's been a long time coming. You know, again, I've been working with Jeff for a couple of years now. A lot of you folks have these brackets out there. Would love to have your feedback too. So leave a comment down below on that. Now, again, if you're looking for these brackets here or the other products that we showed today, go to jufabworks.com, use code GWT to save 5% off of your order. If you need anything else for your tractor for the front end loader or the three point hitch, well, we can help you out. Goodworkstractors.com, prices include shipping, rewards, and financing too. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.